In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how we can customize and change the font inside matplotlib. Now, there are two things that we can change about the font and text. We can change the font family and we can change the font size. Okay, so let's explore how we can do so. There are two different ways of doing so, two different methods that I'm going to discuss. Each of them are a bit different. Okay, they have their differences. Okay, so I will explain all of that let's start off with the first method but before i do that i'm just going to put in some extra text into our window okay because currently it's pretty bare bones it's just it's just a simple line plot okay so i'll say this is our title and i'll do the x label now this is our x label and let's put the y label as well this is our y label okay let's just change that to our title and let's run this so here's our window take a good look at the default text because we're now gonna begin changing it okay this is the default size and the default font okay now i'm just gonna mention this that it's, it's possible that it's gonna be different on different systems because right now what matplotlib is using is what we call system fonts okay these are like fonts that are natively available on your system and on different operating systems. This can be different. Okay. So just keep that in mind. I'm using Windows. So if you're on Linux or a Mac, then it could be slightly different. All right. Anyways, let's change the font size first. Okay. So for that, I'm going to import from the, well, I'm going to import actually the RC module in matplotlib import rc okay and now what we're going to do is rc over here open the parentheses the first parameter is going to be font okay and the second parameter here is going to be well this is a bit complicated you need to put two asterisks first okay then open up curly braces and then over here we can change some things about about you know the font okay what we want to change right now is the size. So I'm going to say size. And then this is a dictionary, basically. So I'm going to do this semicolon over here. And then I'll do, wait, sorry, not semicolon, it's a colon, right? Then I'll do 16. Okay, so I'm changing the font size to 16. And if I run this now, all right, look at that. Uh, okay, there's our nice little text it's quite bigger now and one thing i want you to notice here is that all the text has changed okay we can see that here the labels have changed the titles have changed and the ticks have also changed okay the zero one two three four five it's all bigger now okay just keep that in mind this is important okay now let's try changing the family okay the font type and for this i'll say comic sans now again you, you need to be a bit careful with this okay because uh, some font families are going to be different based on your system you can try verdana you can try helvetica uh, those are commonly available system fonts okay so you can try those out i know this works on my system too so i'm going to try it out and there we go the font type is different okay cool so this is how we can change the size and the family. Now, one thing I want to point out is that the RC module can be used to globally change, you know, attributes such as the font size and font family. What this means is that all text within the matplotlib window is going to get affected. Okay. There's another approach that we can take, which is more selective. We can selectively choose what to apply the font styles on. Okay, so let's take a look at that method. Okay, so let me just get rid of this. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is just define a variable. This is also going to be a dictionary. Okay, but the font uh, parameters here, I guess you could call them font, the font properties, they're going to be a bit different. Okay, instead of size and instead of family, it's going to be font name. Okay, and we'll pass in Comic Sans in here again. 
okay and instead of size it's going to be called font size and we'll pass in 16 again now of course if i run this code nothing will have taken effect yet because we didn't really do anything we just saved the dictionary into a variable okay so what we need to do is actually you can see this over here you can see this uh second parameter highlighted in blue it's called the font dictionary okay and that is exactly what we just created so what what you need to do is asterisk asterisk my font okay uh and if, in case you're asking what the asterisk does i'm not entirely sure but it has something to do with unpacking okay it's basically a way of unpacking the dictionary into individual values okay so something along those lines so over here if I pass it into all three of them, we can change all three of them to the new styles for our font. Okay, and the interesting thing to notice here is that the labels were not changed. Okay, now it is possible maybe that you could change them somehow, the ticks, maybe. Uh, you could look into the various functions, because I know there are various functions for set setting ticks, but what I do not know is whether they take a font, a font dictionary or not. Well, now you, that you know what you're looking for, I think you could figure it out. Okay, just a quick look at the documentation will reveal that, I think. All right, so yeah, that's what I wanted to tell you in this video. The difference between these two methods is that one of them applies the fonts globally. Okay, you apply it once in one line and then you don't need to touch it at all. The second method is more selective, it's more customizable. So like if you only want to make the heading uh, a different font or if you want to use multiple different fonts in your system like you want the heading to be something different uh then you want the text to be a different size you want the labels to be a different size then this is what you can use it for okay so it's pretty handy in that sense all right now yeah there's one more thing i, I will mention that you may have come into this video expecting to see me show you guys how to sh you know include custom fonts you know like fonts that you can download off the internet and then include okay that's not going to be in this video it's going to be in the next video because that's actually a separate process okay matplotlib you, you need some setup okay there's a good bit of setup before you can actually you know add in a new font into matplotlib so i put that in a separate video okay again i'll include a link to it in the description below make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any, any future updates all right leave a like leave a comment let me know what you thought of the video and if there's, if there's anything else that you want to see in the future. All right.